How hard is it to get a product into a retail store? <laughs> Well, well, gosh, it's a sore subject because it was it's such a sore subject that we created an animation about it because people don't really have any idea about what it takes to get a product to market. I mean, it's a, a design a product for the market. It's so incredibly difficult. There's so many gates and there's so many barriers and there's so many people with agendas and um, and uh, channels that you have to go through in order to get it that way. We, we created this animation, I'm a Design, which is based on the Schoolhouse Rock inspired, I, I'm just a Bill. And um, we did it because we just wanted people to understand all the different things that you have to go through so that by the time a product actually makes it to market, it's gotten, in a sense, dumbed down. Well, often it gets dumbed down, but there are exceptions, and that's obviously what we strive right. to achieve. Uh, but certainly there are so many, I would say, barriers to a product getting to market. Um, and it all has to do with all the people that are involved between, you know, the idea of having a product at market to actually getting it there. And that's the retailer who says, I want a product X that's at this price point and they want the cheapest price possible. So they may go directly to a manufacturer and say, hey, give me this product at this price. That buyer may not care about the design. Price is the main objective. And if that factory is a overseas Asian factory, they don't have designers that are U.S. consumers or that understand U.S. consumers. And they don't and have women. They don't, and that's a big The women not on their team, Because yeah. women are making, you know, what, 80% 85%. or more of uh, all retail purchases. So to have Asian manufacturers that in that culture... I mean, we go to Asia, what, 10 times a year, and we have yet to see a female designer or even anybody in product development Never. at any factory in China in, you know, 10 years of doing this. So uh, how can those people not only understand the, the U.S. market in general, but U.S. women who are going to be making these purchases? And so there is a big disconnect between... Um, what the consumer needs and what people want what to buy up there. and what's being made what right. people want to buy and what's being made are are just the, the path for them to get to get into the same you know into onto the same street is highly unlikely right so so you can see with thousands of manufacturers and thousands of products at your average big box store all you know, the vast majority i guess i can't say all the vast majority coming from overseas you can easily understand how many of these products get there without really being designed. 